Hi, I'm Barry Schilling with U.S. Waterproofing. Today we're here to talk about the three most common types of round drain tile. First, let's talk about the most primitive form of drain tile we know of, and that's terracotta clay. And I believe that's where the term tile came from. No different than clay roofing tiles, the round drain tile used around the foundation. The terracotta clay is what they refer to as tile. In any event, the four inch round clay tile comes in 12 inch pieces. When they lay this in the trench, they leave a gap between the two pieces of tile to allow the water to drain in. They take a broken piece of the same tile and lay it on top to protect it so that when they surround this with stone, the stones don't fall into the gap and fill in the hollow of the pipe. The concept is the water drains in from the sides from underneath it finds the hollow cavity in the middle referred to as like a conduit or a chase for the water to follow based on the pitch of the pipe to either your sewer system or a sump pump. The first question that comes to your mind is how long will this stuff last? My own personal home, I have it. My house is over 50 years old and it's still in excellent working condition. The second generation of drain tile came along in the late 60s, early 70s. It's referred to as corrugated drain tile. It's constructed of polyethylene plastic. What makes it superior to clay is the corrugations keep the stones away from the slots between them so that the water can flow freely into the pipe. In recent years, we found by adding a filter sock over the corrugated drain tile, this filter sock keeps the fines of the soil out of the drain tile to increase its life. Another advantage to the corrugated pipe is its ability to make soft turns in the corners of the basement. And that's a big advantage because like with clay pipe and the other types of drain tile, they tend to make a 90 degree bend in the corners. It's kind of like driving your car up to a 90 degree turn. You have to almost stop to make the turn. Whereas if there's a curve in the road, you simply continue your speed as you go around the curve. The third generation of drain tile is PVC pipe. This has a series of three holes punched in it, basically at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 6 o'clock down at the bottom. The concept is when you surround this with stone, the water comes up from underneath the pipe, and if it continues at a greater rate than it can enter the pipe, it comes up from the sides and finds this hollow. Based on the pitch of the pipe, it'll flow to a sump pump. In addition to this pipe, we do add the filter sock, no different than the corrugated tile, to keep the fines of the soil out and prolong the service life. Now that we've covered the three generations of drain tile, it's important that you understand that you know clay tile served its purpose. Been in my house for 50 years and it's still working, so there must be something right about it. Over time it's going to decay, probably long before plastic will but I'm still happy with it 50 years later. Corrugated stands the test of time when it comes to a plastic drain tile. They started using this in the 70s. That's like 40 years ago. So when you look back, today they're still widely using corrugated drain tile 40 years later. The PVC came along in the 90s. So let's say it's been around 20 years. It's a good pipe. We tend to like to use it where it's up by the surface so that you can maintain a straight line. Here in the Midwest where we have to deal with frost in the ground, we tend to like to use PVC up by the surface for surface drainage, but there's nothing better than a good old corrugated drain tile when you're down by the footings. To learn more about drain tile systems, visit our learning center at seepage.com.